Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to declutter, simplify, and organize your home one tiny and tidy step at a time. Last week, I shared my morning routine on my channel. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. Lots of useful tips in that video to help make you more calm and productive. Today I'll be sharing my night routine with all of you. As I mentioned in my morning routine video, I'm a huge fan of having routines and I find that having routines in place can really help you maximize your time. So I'm currently on mat leave and have found that it's even more important that I have a routine now than when I'm working. I'm an elementary school teacher, so when I'm working, we already have routines in place. I have to be up and ready at a specific time and I have to get to school before the bell. Then the entire entire day is very routine since we have schedules in place that we must follow. But when I'm on mat leave, I'm free to use my time as I wish, and if I don't have routines in place, I will waste the entire day. When I had my first baby, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't have any routines in place and just tried to get through each day. With my second baby, I was a lot more at ease and kind of had a routine in place, but it wasn't as regimented as the one that I now have with my third child. This time around, I'm really trying to make the most of my time. I'm also busier than ever since I now have three kids and I also started Tiny and Tidy during this maternity leave and a small business called Little Ladu with a friend of mine. I'll link it down below if you'd like to see what that's all about. So if I want to be able to do all of these things, I really have to be aware of how I spend my time. There's a bunch of things that I've done in order to maximize my time, but today I'm just going to be talking about my nighttime routine. But if you want to know how to be more productive, make sure to check out this video. Baby Josh is usually in bed by 7 p.m. and our other two kids, Isha and Kian, are normally in bed around 8. Once they're in bed, that's when I'll start working on my blog or YouTube videos. I no longer watch TV. I find it very enjoyable to write for my blog or to edit my videos, so that's how I like to spend my evenings now. I work until exactly 10.30 p.m. Even if I'm in the middle of something, once it's 10.30, I have to stop. I then put away my laptop and tidy up the living room. I'll fold our throws, straighten out the cushions, and put away any toys and return all other items to their homes. I try to do the dishes after dinner, but if I don't get to it then, I'll make sure I do them before going to bed. I hate waking up to a messy kitchen, so it's essential that I do this. I then wipe down the counters and clean the stovetop. Our kids sleep through anything, so I'll then grab the vacuum and quickly vacuum the living room and kitchen. It just makes things so much easier and calmer in the morning when we wake up to a clean home. My kids have meal plans at school and my husband buys his lunch and I eat at home so there's no need to make lunches. But when I'm working, I will make both my lunch and my husband's lunch during my nighttime routine. Next, I'll take my vitamins, I take iron, vitamin D, and I'm still taking prenatals since I'm still nursing and I also just want to finish whatever I have left. I then turn off all of the lights in the kitchen and living room and head to our bathroom. I'll brush my teeth and then do my nighttime skin routine. I'll explain that in a future video or blog post. If you haven't checked out my blog yet, make sure to check it out. I post lots of useful tips that will help you declutter, get organized, and make the most of your time. I'll then get into bed and use the sundown setting on my clock. I talked about this clock in my morning routine video and it really is amazing for waking up, but I also love using it for going to bed. I highly recommend this clock and I've linked it in the description box down below. It's now around 11 p.m. and I'm pretty tired, so I quickly fall asleep and now that I have this clock I also like to keep my phone in the living room so that it's not right by my head all night and I also don't want to be tempted to look at it at night or first thing in the morning so there you have it guys that's my current night routine as I mentioned in my morning routine video it doesn't matter what your night routine is everyone's will be different it's just important to have one if you want to make the most of your time and not have chaotic moments so before having kids I had a lot of chaotic mornings I was rushing off to work, skipping breakfast, having to run out and grab lunch, but now I just can't do that anymore. Because of my kids, I had to change the way I was doing
doing things and get more organized and implement strict routines. And I'm so glad that I did. I really wish I was more strict about routines before even having kids. It really helps to alleviate a lot of stress. So if you don't have a routine in place, create one and try it out. It won't be perfect right away. It'll take time and practice to get it right, but it's worth the investment. Morning and night routines are not the only things I do to make the most of my time. I also have schedules, meal plans, and a lot of organization systems in place that help me stay on top of things. So if you want to learn how to organize your home step by step, how to meal plan and create schedules and use your time more effectively, make sure to sign up on the Clear the Clutter waitlist. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be provided with more information. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so that I'll know that you want to see more videos like this one. And also follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be sharing my February edition of what items are sparking joy in my life. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.